FT8 pedestrian mobile, FT8 CN app, and my backpack setup. There's no USB cable connecting my Android phone to my Icom IC705 in the backpack. How is it possible without the cable? It's wireless. Stay tuned. This is my go bag, not go box, it's actually go backpack. And uh, the body stick antenna is here, fixed to my backpack. And here is the coil. It's gonna be kind of a not bottom, not base load, but kind of a mid load more efficient version of the body stick all in all it's gonna be something like 2 meters 50 probably and in the back I've got Icom IC705 and lithium iron phosphate battery 12 amp hours it's more than enough for the for this uh, test today uh, it's more than enough to run the Icom IC705 for probably the whole day but I just wanted, you know, to, to try out how, how is it to carry on. Well, it's uh, six and a half kilos. Not really that, that problematic to carry on. Uh, I have the counterpoise connected, you see. The counterpoise connected to the plate. And the antenna cable is also connected to the same plate so it's it's pretty okay i'm with a backpack and you can see how do i look like it's pretty convenient i mean the antenna is quite stable you see i can move i can shake no problems it's it's all okay so now let's let's try and make some contact hold on a second before we go anywhere further we need to configure the radio The ICOM IC705 has got two wireless modes, the station mode and the access point mode. The station mode means that your radio is connected to your local Wi-Fi network, whatever this means. And the access point mode means that the radio creates itself the hotspot area and local Wi-Fi network for your phone. Let's start with the station mode, as the settings applying for this mode are also applied for the access point mode. So, using the menu button, we go to the settings on the radio, we go to the wireless LAN settings, and here is important to make sure the wireless LAN, WLAN, is on. Because you can choose between off and on. So, we want it on. And then you've got to choose the connection type station. Because you have two options, station and access point. First, we choose station, or it means connect to network. Then we have to go to connection settings for station mode. So, and here we see access point. We click on access point and voila, we see the available wireless networks. In this case, this is my home wireless network and it's already connected if it's not connected you have to let's say this you need to enter password and and you know all the all the usual settings which you need to to provide in order to connect to any any wireless network you know in in your usual way it is important to ensure that DHCP is on and that you see this IP address here. You have to memorize this IP address or what is better, write it down on the paper 
and keep it at hand. You will need uh, the IP address which is displayed in this in this line here for the later entering into the FTHCN app on your phone. So now while we are in the WLAN set, we need to go a little bit further. The last chapter in the WLAN set window is remote settings. We click on remote settings and here we need to ensure that network control is on. Network control is on. This is important. And second important thing is to ensure that the control port is 5001 because we will need this uh, address of the control port while configuring the phone setup or for the FTHCN app. In the app there will be a line where we should enter this address 50001. So now let's go further on in the remote settings on the second page of remote settings and then uh, we have to go and click on, on the network user one and here we see so network user ID you write your own ID what you know what you want I've written my call sign you can edit it on the icons uh, keyboard here and you you write your id you create your id so equally the same uh, you create your network user one password if you click on it you will see the same editing uh, keyboard window where you can edit and save your password i've done it it's here this information network user one id and the password will be needed to enter into the pop-up window on the Android phone in the FT8CN app. So, and that is pretty much it uh, for the configuring the station mode. Now, to configure the access point mode, you need to come back to the wireless LAN set Many settings remain the same, like WLAN on. The most important change for the access point settings is connection type. Instead of having station connection type, we click on it and we choose access point, connect to phone or PC. So when we change connection type to access point, Let's go and click on the connection settings for the access point. In this chapter, you have to configure the SSID and the password for this connection. So I've, I've decided to name this SSID ICOM IC705. Well, naturally. And uh, Please don't give uh, the name and the password of any existing wireless network which you know in your home or whatever. So this is a new local Wi-Fi network created by the radio. So it's, it's got to have its new name and its, and its new password. So it's ICOM IC705. The, the password was configured accordingly. As soon as we've done that, we see IP address. So this is another IP address which we need to take down, to write down on the piece of paper and have it at hand while being in the field. This IP address is the IP address of this local network created by the radio. This is it. All the remaining settings are the same as we already done while configuring the station mode for the wireless connection of the ICOM IC705. And the very final step in the configuration process is to restart the radio in order to have all the changes we've done in the settings active and functional. For that, we push and hold the power button 
the radio shuts down. We push the power button again. The radio starts again. And voila. If you see the white square with a wireless sign in it, it means you are in a hotspot mode, which means your radio is generating local Wi-Fi area around it. It's pretty easy to switch modes from hotspot to the station mode. You just go quickly to the menu, to the settings, to the WLAN set, and here you choose the connection type. Now it's an access point. Click on it and choose station. And that's it. And go back and see what happens. And here we see that it's already connected to the local Wi-Fi network because the sign has changed into just ordinary Wi-Fi sign. No white square around it. See you in the field. All right, so now here on the Android phone, we go to the FTHCN app and you need to go to settings and you need to fulfill to enter all the fields. So like call sign, grid square, and most importantly, you need to choose the radio. The radio, the rig is ICOM IC705. You choose it from the pop-up list of many radios which are available for the FTHC and app. And then you need to choose control. You choose CAT and connection type. How do you do this? So you can choose USB, Bluetooth or network. We choose network. When we choose network, the new login window pops up, log in to the ICOM and here we have the IP address, port, user and password fields to fill in. So the IP address, it should be the address which your radio showed you and you should have taken down the note of the IP address depending on the mode of your connection. If you connect it to the wireless network together your Android phone and your radio ICOM IC705 connected to one Wi-Fi network so the IP address for that network will be written will be automatically set in the under the DHCP setting in the radio. So you have to enter this address into the IP address line. Port number it's 5001. It's also the same port number which uh, you have checked if it's correct uh, in the settings of the radio. User and the password, the same username and, and the password which are in the user number one in the settings. The same password and, and, and the same username will go independently uh, from the type of connection, type of Wi-Fi you connecting to, whether it's a common Wi-Fi network or it's a hotspot created by the radio. So the user and the password will remain the same. And after you press login, you have to be connected to, to the radio. One more advice before we start the program running. It's a very good idea to sync the time of your phone, you know, in order to have it precise time. Precise clock is needed for the FT8 operations, as you perfectly know. So I'm just use my phone's sim card internet connection just pushing the sync time button in the ft8cn apps settings push sync time and local clock is exact 
it says it goes momentarily to the internet website and the time is synced automatically and precisely so now and now I think it's uh, it, it's okay to come back to the settings of the phone go to Wi-Fi settings enable Wi-Fi so we see available network size 705 we need to connect to it so connect it and then we we get back quickly to the app settings network connection login and voila it's working <laughs> and if we go to the decode page it's decoding so we see on the left the waterfall and the station is decoded so now I can just put my backpack on my back and can try to make some QSOs you push and, pu and hold on the station the, the calling window opens up then you push call and see alright so I'm transmitting now so and the app is working yes he's answering me Mexico India Zero Nancy Whiskey Alpha he, he has answered me gave me minus 11 report I'm giving the Roger minus 13 report perfect as the radio is in the backpack of course I can't see what's going on with the SWR and, and, and my transmitted power so but if something wrong I would see on the apps window on the on the program so it would have been written that high SWR or, or something like that so that's that's a convenient feature by the way of the FT8CN app how can you connect to, to Wi-Fi network uh, when you don't use the radio's hotspot but I still can use my Android phones hotspot I have actually the uh, 4G internet connection here uh, on my on the same Android phone I'm using for the FT8CN app all I need to do in this case to configure the radio uh, to be you know running as a station not the hotspot and then to connect my radio to the hotspot provided by my Android phone and in the Android app uh, you need to go to the network connection to fill in the new IP address which you see on your radio and you push login and here you are you are connected I'm connected now so and you can go to the decode window and you see lots of stations decoded uh, time is also synced because I'm connected uh, to the to the network with the same Android phone so or you can do it before as in a previous example we can keep on doing USOs Charlotte Tango 3 Mexico Delta station is calling Madeira Island so let's click on it and hold then push then click on call I'm calling the Madeira station so now both my Android phone and my radio are on the same Wi-Fi network created by my hotspot on my Android phone as the WR is yeah 1.5 to one <clears throat> the power is is around nine watts and I'm still trying to call the Charlie Tango 3 Mexico Delta the Madeira station ICOM IC705 is a unique radio in a way that it's you know provides Bluetooth Wi-Fi GPS it's not a pocket size radio but it's certainly a portable radio and uh, if you've got an ICOM IC705 I think it's only right way to use all the functions it's got and I think the Wi-Fi thing is very very useful very convenient and it's actually a fantastic feature of the ICOM IC705 with the help of this also very good and very nice program FT8CN FT8 
no more linked or bound to the table to the desk computer or to or, or, or to the portable computer but still a laptop which is which you should carry on with you you just have a very portable small android phone and you go i mean and you go i can put the rucksack on and i go while i was talking uh, the ftcn program has done a contact for me with the french station fox 4 fox zulu radio <laughs> very good uh, and the and the madeira station has not answered probably and <clears throat> in this way the ftcn app uh, chooses another on on its own chooses automatically automatically another station which is you know calling cq and tries to contact with it that's what happened so i've got another contact very nice all right guys <clears throat> with this set thanks for watching please leave your comments in the comment section what's your experience with this uh, ft8cn app and with icom ic705 so please leave your comments please consider subscribing if you like my my channel if you like the videos i do also if you want to buy me a coffee i'm very grateful for that too it's still springtime it's cold and coffee is good for my voice thanks for watching peace and victory for ukraine see you next time 73 tarafa now this is linas limayanki 2 hotel